Hi friends, today we will look at how to do intraday trading in Zerodha. If you are using the Zerodha Kite app, intraday trading is pretty simple. The first step is to select which stock you want to do your trading in, which I presume you have done. To go and take your trade on that stock, we go to the watch list and select the stock. So I'm going to take an empty watch list over here. And today I am going to, as an example, as a reference only, use Adani Enterprises as the stock which I am going to short. So I am doing an intraday trade. And within intraday, I am doing a short position, which means that I am going to take a view of the market that this stock is going to go down further. So after the stock has been added in watch list, I will click on this box and I have a sell button which shows up over here. So let's click this sell button. Within sell, you will see over here, there's regular cover, AMO, iceberg, multiple kinds of order. We will select regular as our trade option. Within regular, we have selected intraday. Now remember intraday trading generally gives you some margin. My account has roughly 30,000 rupees over here, but a single stock of 3,441 is costing me only 688 rupees because there is a 5x leverage being given by Zerodha over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a 10 quantity transaction so I'm going to set the quantity for S10. So the total position size will be a zero over here. So 34,000 rupees. But my margin, if I refresh it, is only 6,800 rupees. In which case I'm also comfortable doing it as quantity 20. Now when you are doing a short, remember the current market price is 3433. Three. I am predicting that it will go down and I will exit when it goes down. In intraday transactions, remember the market may close at 3.30 p.m. But you have to square off your transactions by yourself by 3.15 p.m. Else Zerodha will square it off for you and even charge you extra money for it. Remember, I have randomly chosen this stock only to show you intraday functionality. I would highly recommend that do you do your research and choose a stock how to choose stock or how to do technical analysis we may cover in other videos but this is not a recommendation for you to go and short this stock in fact by the time you see this video this day would have passed and the markets would have changed as well so i want to make that point sufficiently clear now remember market is probably the best option for me over here in case i choose limit the limit i set will have to be above the current price so if the current price is 3436, I can say the limit is 3440. But if I say 3435 and the market is already above that, even the limit order will get triggered immediately in this case. So in case of short selling, remember, I am selecting market over here. I'm comfortable shorting at this very price. I'm not waiting for the market to come up and then short it. It's an intraday transaction. It's only three and a half hours of trading time left for the day. So that's what I'm doing. I will just swipe to sell to take this position now. I will also refresh to see my total margin which is 13,743 rupees. Now if I go to my orders over here, this one is executed and if I go inside portfolio, I can see it in positions. So I can now click positions up here and I can see this open position and the live PNL can be seen over here. This same transaction can also be done with a stop loss and can also be done with a stop loss and target. But we will look at those kind of transactions in coming videos over here. How do we exit this position when we think it's the right time? It's simple. Click on the position box and you have an exit button which tells you if you want to add on to the current position, there is an add button as well. Now what I'm doing is since I do not want to track this minute by minute right now, I'm going to just put an exit order and I'm going to set a price. So I'm going to set a limit price that, hey, I am willing to sell this for 
31.10. So I have said that when the price, which is currently 3436, comes down to 3431.10, please close my order and give me my profit. So I'm setting an intraday exit at a limit and I'm going to swipe. There'll be no margin here because I already have a position. So now I have put this order into place. So my current PNL can be seen in position and within orders, there is an open order for me to close this position by buying 20 quantity of Arani Enterprise in MIS. MIS is your intraday. So that's how you do shorting in intraday on Zerodha Kite. But remember, shorting, intraday trading, these are risky things. You better know what you are doing. I am not someone who is recommending you or giving you calls on what trades to take. That is entirely your decision. If you want to open a DMET account, I would appreciate if you can use my Zerodha link below. You can also use Paytm Money and other links which I am giving you below. Those are all good stable platforms. If you want me to compare these platforms and help you choose between DMET accounts, please let me know in comments and I will make a video on it. See you. Bye.